Hey YouTube, this is Darren here at Northwest Marine coming at you with an unboxing here. Now, a couple of you guys have ordered from this company before, as well as myself. Um, this company is called Algae Barn. Well, I wanted to, when I set my new tank up, I wanted to seed it with some copepods before I got a large amount of fish in here. So I reached out to Lan at Algae Barn and explained that I had used your product on my 300. <clears throat> And I've since sold it. So anyway, he was kind enough to, to send me out enough copepods and phytoplankton to seed my Red Sea Reefer as well as my 75. So for videoing purposes, I went ahead and opened the box, but I haven't actually reached into there because I'm shooting this video with one hand. So anyway, reaching into here, he sent me... Um, Two bags of the 5280 pods, which you guys already know what they are. There are three different types of, of, of pods for your system. And I believe this is... Oh, yeah, right here. Anyway, they go ahead and, uh, which I like about this, is they give you the harvest date of when they harvested the copepods um, and the date which you should use this by. So I went ahead and got two of these bags right here. Put them over here. And here's the other one. So basically if you hold it up to the light, just kind of shake it. You can kind of see. There you go. There you go. You can see the copepods moving around up here. Now they say when you use use the pods to go ahead and acclimate the bag to your tank for about 10 minutes. And then what they recommend also too is take your filter socks out and uh, go ahead and put these in at nighttime. It gives the pods a chance to reach into the cracks and crevices of your rock work without the fish picking them off while they're suspended in the, uh, in the tank. Also sent me a bag of uh, phytoplankton made by Ocean Magic. Now, the, when you introduce the copepods, they need something to eat off of as well. So, the phytoplankton here it gives them the opportunity to feast on here and grow. And this live phytoplankton is actually good for your corals too. I do know some people that do use it on their corals. They also have the harvest date here as well as the date it should be used by which is in this case January 26. Now they do recommend that you shake this well and use five milliliters per 20 gallons every day for the first two weeks. Well I probably won't have enough of this so I will go ahead and uh, probably use it every other day. Well this is nice right here. This is a really nice idea. This is also the Ocean Magic phyto Phytoplankton but this is a hard plastic bottle right here with a doser. So basically you kind of zoom in here this gives you anywhere from 5 to 30 milliliters. So you un undo this one cap right here and push into here and you can push the recommended amount that you need up in here and this you can use this as your dosing bottle. So I think when I am done with this I will use this to refill with more phytoplankton so this is actually a great idea so you don't have to measure it out it's done there right for you and we have an algae barn sticker over here now these are also the 5280 pods but this has 22,000 copepods in here. So this is going to be more than enough to seed my Red Sea Reefer right here. Same thing, you want to go ahead and uh, this is a much larger bag. You want to go ahead and acclimate them for the recommended 10 minutes and then take your filter socks out. Oh, here we go. This is a large bag, of the 64 ounce bag of the Ocean Magic Phytoplankton. So what I'll do is when I'm done with the uh, 
dosing bottle right here, I will go ahead and start emptying the plastic bags into the dosing bottle. So this is a, uh, a good sized bag right here. This should last me a while. And that's it. So what we have right here are two of the large bags, one of the phytoplankton and one of the uh, copepods, as well as the two smaller bags of the pods, small bag of ocean magic, and a bottle of the phytoplankton right here with a built-in doser right there. So anyway guys, just wanted to show you what I received from them and uh, I wanted to reach out and say thank you very much Lan and to Algae Barn for going ahead and sending me this right here and uh, I appreciate it very much and I will be using this starting tonight and I will go ahead and introduce the pods and the phytoplankton a little bit later on. Anyway guys, until the next one, I will talk to you later.